Hi Kerry, it's absolutely a pleasure to be here with you today on our next episode of Be The Drop. Absolute pleasure. pleasure to have you. Thank you. And I see you've brought your items of significance and I'm very excited to hear your story about them and how they connect you with your community. Well, the first one is actually my bronze medal from Atlanta in 1996. It's not as shiny and it's not as expensive and valuable as our gold medal from 2000, but it was actually where it all began. It's where our gold was kind of born, I guess, because when we won the bronze, we thought, wow, we've got four years now to get better and get the gold in Sydney. And then of course, um, this one is the shiny one, the gold in Sydney. So this most definitely connects me to my community because a lot of the time people want to see it, they want to touch it, they want to hold it, they go, oh my God, it's heavy. Um, oh, what was it like? That I think I've been asked that question about a million times. What was it like to win a gold medal? What was it like at the Olympics? And it, my answers are always different. They're really, they're really always different depending on who I'm with. Now, so we've heard this fabulous story. You've given me goosebumps about your item and how it connects you with your community. But who exactly is that community that you're connected with? I've obviously got my friends and family, um, but then I've also got um, my corporate community. I do a lot of motivational speaking and I've been doing that now for 15 plus years. Um, and I thought if I, if I thought 15 years ago that I'd still be doing it, I would have said probably not. I'd, be, I'd have a nine to five job, but <laughs> I actually really, really love speaking on stage and inspiring other people and really making it personal to the, the groups that I'm talking to. So that's a big community because that's a community that basically has been my breadwinner as well for the last, you know, 15 years, I guess, since, since you know, winning gold in Sydney. Um, and then I have recently started a, a new community or started within a new community in the health and wellness industry. So going, working with Isagenics, which is a nutritional cleansing company. So that's a completely new thing for me. Network marketing, something I never thought I'd be into, but it's all about networking. It's all about helping people. It's all about helping with them with their health and wellness. And at the same time, if they're interested, helping them create wealth as well. So. It's a really diverse bunch of communities. And then on top of that, and then of course the, I guess where it's all come from is my sporting community. So I have the volleyball community and I'm on the board of, of Volleyball Australia. Have you had any experience with negativity within your community and how do you handle that? Totally. <laughs> I think that there is, I mean, in Australia, there's, there's a bit of a tall poppy, like let's pull down the tall poppy thing. Whereas in the States, for instance, you know, they put their tall poppies up and go, yeah, you guys are fantastic. Whereas in Australia, it's like, oh, don't talk about yourself like that. So when we were, you know, out to win an Olympic gold medal and we were starting to tell people, it was more about us believing in ourselves. And that's why we were telling people, this is what we're going after. And I'm, you know, behind the scenes, I'm sure there were many people, even our sporting federation at the time, not believing in us, they didn't believe us. Um, so there was that kind of underground of negativity, which wasn't apparent at the time, but you can almost feel it. Like if people have some, the energy and they're not, the energy's not positive and uplifting, you know, it's, then it's negative and you can kind of feel that. Um, so the way we dealt with that was kind of like, you watch us, you know? You watch us do it. And thank you so much for your time today, Kerry. It's been so lovely speaking with you. In conclusion, can you finish by sharing with me Kerry's Be The Drop tip? I think being interested and asking questions of the community, people one-on-one -on -one in a group situation, whatever. So rather than doing what I'm doing today is talking about myself, which I do a lot, it's really hard, whenever I'm in other situations, I'm always more interested in other people um, and I'm always throwing it back to them and I'm listening to what they're talking about so I can f hear if there is a need for me to help that person. Um, so I think being a really good, uh, it, it, it goes back to caring, I guess, caring about the other person and asking good questions and, and really listening to the answers.